What is up guys, thanks once again for tuning in to the channel. So this is Kickspore where we review everything for sneakers, lifestyle travel and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of a haul review once again for some of the pieces that I got from the last collection from Nike CG for summer 2021. Now in my last video that I just uh, dropped, I already am talking about the second kind of drop or second uh, you know, collection that kind of dropped for summer 2021. But um, uh, I haven't got to that yet, so I haven't, that's not out, uh, out for uh, purchase in my region yet. So yeah, I can't really review it, but I do want to talk about all the stuff that I did get from the last one. I actually reviewed it in a place called Warrnambool. Uh, it's a beautiful place, three hours from Melbourne, and uh, we went there uh, for our anniversary, five years. So congratulations to me for lasting that long. <laughs> but yeah, five years uh, anniversary to me and my beautiful wife. And uh, yeah, we went to this place called Deep Blue Hotel Hot Springs and Spa. Oh man, it was so good. Uh, I don't, if you're ever in the area, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a beautiful place, especially with the surrounding areas. Oh, mwah, so good. Anyways, uh, let's just get straight into this uh, review, shall we? So as you can see there, I am wearing the shirt. Uh, you can see the beautiful background in the back. This is me unbuttoning slowly, seductively. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. But yeah, as you can see, the, the shirt is kind of, is a size large. It's kind of oversized, which is how I like it. Uh, you can see that big slit in the back. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But this, this is sort of like the main um, you know, look of it. It's got the carabiner there at the bottom. Okay, so you can put your keys, but I definitely wouldn't want to put my keys or anything. Uh, you know, you know, a couple of keys there would be bad because it just ding ding around. And there's a big pocket on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, there's a, another pocket with another pocket in front of it. So plenty of pockets, uh, as you can see. These two pockets here, I don't know what they're used for, but uh, you know, impressive. It gives you, you that really deep tech wear look, as you can see. There's all these buttons at the front there as well very fantastic uh this is just me just like kind of kind of giving you a full range close-up look once again there is the back slit uh there that's what I, that's me trying to exaggerate what it looks like so it's mesh inside and then on the outside is the fabric so uh yeah this is me just trying to give you a better look so as you can see there the the slit there's like a mesh lining there. So all that ventilation goes into your back, which is fantastic, especially for summer, as you can see there. So it gives you a lot of room to breathe. So it's not so much uh, trying to keep all that uh, air and uh, that moisture inside. Also, what I'm trying to point to here is the uh, little string attached so you can just hang it off. So it's like, like an attachment for a hook. So it's easily to like store around the house and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, there's like a mesh lining inside. It's not just one fabric. It is actually mesh there as well. So it kind of gives you more breathability around your body. Uh, um, you can see it there. It says devastation trail. That's the name of the shirt right there. I think I'm going to talk about the sleeves now. See, right there, I'm showing you the button. Okay, that button right there is what you use to, uh, like, strap up the sleeves. There's an inner uh, little strap on the inside. So after you roll it up, I think I roll it up, and then I think I try to look for it again. Right there. But what you initially... Uh, what you what you actually yeah, have to do is just to roll it up and eventually you're going to find this thing on the inside. This little strap right there. So there's an inside strap in there and that is what connects to the outer uh, little um, button that you see right over here, right there. So it gives you this look, right? So it looks like that. And uh, that's pretty impressive as well, especially if you, it gets really hot and you, you don't want to kind of have your sleeves like hanging down and want a little bit more ventilation in your arms. That's something that you can really look into and that's something that you can adapt as well. So, And as you can see there, I'm also wearing the Nike ACG t-shirt from, uh, from the second last drop. Very, oh, I love this t-shirt, such a good fitting t-shirt. And uh, yeah, that's also me showing the Nike ACG hat. The snapback, the one with the extended uh, little strap at the front. And uh, yeah, really impressive. But yeah, that's me looking into the sunset, guys, because it's a beautiful place in uh, Warrnambool. 
Just me taking it all in. Yeah, you gotta do that guys. Gotta go outdoors. Yeah. So this is me basically trying on the uh, Nike ACG Smith Summer Pants. As you can already see there, they do fit a little bit too big. I'm just trying to pull them up so that they don't kind of drag on the bottom of my shoes. As you can see there, I'm wearing the Nike ACG Mountain Fly Highs. And yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it was generally too big, but they do have a lot of room around the thighs area. Even if I did size down, I think they would still be roomy. So it's good for like when you're climbing up big steps and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, generally I just don't, <laughs> I wish that I got a size down already, but when I tried to return it, um, all the mediums were already gone. So, uh, you know, it's, it's still a really good pair of pants. I got it for the also the uh, the ability to be converted into shorts and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, so uh, I eventually had to return it. But this is also me uh, showing you guys how the uh, drawstrings at the bottom work, which is I think is an absolutely genius move for like pairs of pants like these. Cause you know, you never know when they're gonna be too long, too short or whatever, but at least you can kind of tie them up at the bottom. That way you don't have to be worried about like all the kind of wind or extra dirt going up into your pants while you are walking. And this is what they look like when I put the drawstrings up. Like I had to try and, <laughs> you know, uh, compensate for the, you know, the extended amount of, or it, like the extra amount of uh, leg kind of length, if you, if you will. And uh, no, yeah, I think it, they still look okay in a way. Uh, well, if you're kind of tied up like that and stuff, but um, you know, it, it was, it was too long. But yeah, generally overall, some very, very good pants. They're, they are around, around 200 Australian dollars, so kind of pricey, but don't forget guys, once again, you can convert them to shorts. So they do have so many functions. They so have so many uh, capabilities of like, you know, helping you to, you know, hike a lot better because they have got a lot of pa uh, pockets, you know, all these other kind of uh, quick draw, uh, it's like a belt. It's like quick release. And also it's like integrated into the pants. So very, very useful. And uh, yeah, they, they are a great pair of pants, but I just wish I got a size down. And uh, just for reference, I normally go, I'm a size 36 uh, waist, and I normally go for a large, but yeah, this one was really big. It felt like an extra large, if that made, made, made sense. I should have went a medium for next time. But I did want to give a little bit of a kind of spiel about this shirt right here. Once again, this is a Nike ACG t-shirt, the normal ones that they have. Such a nice fitting shirt. I've got so many of these uh, in different colors, but for some reason, this one, uh, when I got a large, it was a little bit bigger and uh, compared to the other ones. Some of the other ones feel like they're mediums, <laughs> you know, even though it says that they're large, but uh, this one really fit really nicely. I love this one, especially the color as well. Very, uh, you know, neutral and uh, you know, it kind of matches a lot of different of the other pieces that I do have. So it's fantastic. I love this one. Anyway, guys, thank you once again for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope it kind of gave you insight to whether to get the Devastation Trail shirt. Uh, I do uh, really highly recommend it. It's around 140 Australian dollars, uh, pretty pricey for a shirt, but don't forget guys, it's got all these kind of features packed into it. So it's just not, an average shirt. It's a really highly elevated shirt with other kind of features like, you know, quick drying, dry fit material, all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't say it's really necessarily waterproof, but it's also made out of, um, you know, 75% polyester. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a really nice shirt. It's very well ventilated, especially in the back. So it's definitely a really good summer shirt if you're ever looking for one, especially if it's from the Nike ACG brand. Anyway, guys, thank you once again for watching this video and I really appreciate it. I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. People actually live here, man. It's so nice. <laughs> this is our room. This is totally smashed. What is up, guys? So, a little bit of a one and ball vlog. Uh, I'm outside the hotel of Deep Blue Sea. I mean, Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Hotel in Hot Springs. So the hotel that we're staying at is that one over there. This is Lady Bay. It's pretty nice as well. And, oh, man, it's such a fantastic place. Let me show you guys right now. So there's the actual hotel. And that's the Hot Springs area, guys. I want to go film <laughs> inside, but... My camera's gonna get all foggy, but yeah, no, nah, it's not, yeah.
just gotta experience it for yourself guys it's so nice in terms of uh, comparing it with um, the Mornington one I would probably say it's a little bit smaller but it's still really nice especially at night and uh, yeah it's kind of harder to compare it because yeah I've never been at night at Mornington and it was like raining yesterday so we couldn't really take advantage of it during the daytime so oh well that's how it is Sneezing. It's pretty nice. Look at the waves, bro. Nature, bro. Nature. <laughs> 